How come they don't put heated water sprinklers in the streets in New York City in the winter? What the fuck do you mean heated water sprinklers in the streets? If you weren't constantly pumping heated water through those pipes, those pipes would freeze and burst. That makes no fucking sense. To wash out the snow. <laughs> no, it would, it would never work in the amount that you would need. It would never work. Not with the current infrastructure, not with the way the pipes are laid under the ground in the city. It would just... You guys might not be aware of what happens when you peel up the asphalt from a New York City street, but there's so many different areas where you dig down a little bit and there are pipes, there's electricity, there are all these little things constantly. Um, you know, you go into a manhole and there's a whole something going on under that roadway. Uh, I don't think they could do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the water usage of the energy requirement would be high, but it just... The thing is, yeah, I was going to say, they just salt the roads. They already... It's not needed. It's not needed because there's already infrastructure in place to handle it. You don't need to uh, melt the snow down like that. What you do is you salt and sand. They do sand for traction, too. Um, salt and sand, just... Uh, you just sprinkle it all around. They have trucks that just sprinkle it around. You throw it on the sidewalk, whatever. No issue with ice. Everyone's fine. There's bits of, you know, snow piling up and no one cares about that because it's not actually on the sidewalk where you're walking. The snow removal, when you do have a shit ton of snow in New York City, though, one of the things that they do do is they have these huge trucks that are heated and they just shovel the snow into the trucks and the trucks melt it down and pour it straight into the sewer. So they just remove it as water. That is probably one of the, like, most normal ways to do it without affecting the environment because yeah some people are like oh salting the roads can also have issues uh it doesn't have a big issue because you're just salting a city road there's not much nature to affect so it's not usually that much of an issue but yeah one of the easy uh solutions there still requires manual labor is just to shovel the snow and instead of shoveling it into a corner and piling up really high they just throw it into this truck that just melts it down just barely enough to wash away and that works let me see if I can find a picture. Found a picture of one. It's cool because you see all this like steam coming out of them, um, but it's just from, you know, the act of melting here. Boom. See that? So it's, it's not even its own separate truck. It's more of like a, an attachment to something else that needs to be powered. But they drag this around to a spot where there's a lot of snow and then they just start just absolutely plowing shit tons of snow into it. And they do it really fast and it just melts it down. Um, and they have the spout at the end go right over like a sewer grate, which is, you know, where, where rainwater would go anyway. And they just have it dump it down there. And that's it. That's it. And it works really well, actually, in my opinion. While they have them going, if you're like a, a, a local, you know, person living around there and you want to shovel some of your own snow into the pile that they're picking up, you can do that. So if you're like getting rid of snow that's on your property, you just throw it into the pile that they're also shoveling <laughs> you know from the street and they'll just take it so i don't know i find it works actually really well really well hot water circulated roadways are not practical on a city scale very few airports even in cold climates have those yeah people will be like oh they have them in japan but uh from what i've heard they have them on some roadways in japan it's not like they cover an entire city in it you know so when people are like oh they should do it in the city i'm like where just broadway like <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> i don't think it's um scalable i don't think it's very scalable the way uh like one of those snow melters would be because you could just drag that thing around anywhere hook it up to any sewer grate you know it's very uh very doable i'm talking for years about solar powered heated sidewalks but i've never seen it happen it's too expensive it's too expensive the needs to make a solar panel i just don't see any city ever funding that no way i i only see private people private companies doing that for their own properties and maybe just outside their own buildings but yeah that's pretty much it I, I can't even i can't imagine that being scaled out and even if you tried to do it i can't imagine that not just going wrong all the time <laughs> anytime someone's tried to put like some piece of technology in a spot where people are always walking it, it just gets destroyed um people big thing any city people always do this because people are shitty anything expensive or technologically advanced or just simply new that gets installed in a spot in the city where people can just walk past it people will try to break it people will try to spray paint it people will try to steal it like no matter what it is so if you have a 
chunk of sidewalk that is like heated, literally someone will try to jackhammer that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so, I'm and I'm not joking. Maybe it won't happen immediately, but someone will fucking do it. And I'm I'm so serious, so serious. They'll just do it just cause. I remember um they they made this, this installation of uh they call it the vessel in New York City. It's this big sculpture that you can walk on. It's just an attraction. Let me find it. It's in Hudson Yards. It's cool. It's just a thing to walk on and it gives you some nice views. This. So those are walkways. You see the stairs. You see how some of them are stairs. You can see the people at the bottom. This thing is fucking huge. Yeah, it's just it's just an art piece. It's in the middle of a park area. You can see behind it, you see some train tracks. It's called Hudson Yards because there's a train yard there. So you can't really build buildings over this. Um, there's a park to the right. And behind it, like if you're standing there looking at it from the side, behind it is this big like mall. There's a bunch of buildings around. There are a bunch of newer apartment buildings there as well. Um, and there was just nothing good that you could really put in this exact spot besides something like this that people can just walk on. So they wanted to build something that people would go and just hang out on to encourage people to just hang out in the area, I guess. So, um, so they built this, the vessel. And I remember when they first built it, the number of times people... <laughs> would walk up to it. It was fenced off. People would, of course, climb fences and go through it. People would just try to hit it. They would just try to hit it with a fucking, with a hammer, with a with a screwdriver. Didn't matter. People just try to mar the surface of it constantly. Just random people all the fucking time. And I was like, this is why you can't build something. Like, imagine if this thing had a lot of, like, moving parts, mechanical bits that you could pry off of it. People, it would be gone. It's Thankfully, it's just, like, a giant sculpture. And there's not much to do to it but smack it, you know? Like, like thank god but i just remember this thing i i went to it like right after it was built and i walked past it so many times like you know that first year especially i just kept walking past it and um people would just literally like kick it a lot of the time younger people a lot of the time fucking teenagers or people in like their early 20s being dickheads um some people being clearly on something which is you know just how it is you just walk up to it and like kick it like what, what are you doing <laughs> why and i remember hearing several people onlookers see someone just trying to do this and they would be like yeah yeah do it and i'm like why why are they cheering for it and and like i'm listening in on conversations and it seemed to be that some people held this sentiment that like anything made by anyone with money is to be destroyed and i was like the, the, i i can't i can't this thing what are you doing like okay so you break it and no one no one gets anything ever <laughs> like what the fuck it's not like one rich guy owns it and you have to pay five thousand dollars to stand on it you know it's not like ugh, i don't know i was just like what the fuck are you people doing it's fucking weird man it's weird